I am in a hunt for the most optimal, clean, streamlined setup. And I'm constantly moving things around, trying to figure it out. This one might be the solution, especially if you have multiple monitors and especially if you have multiple PCs, especially if you use a Mac and a PC, something along those lines. Okay, here's a look at the one we're looking at today. It's the HDC202. 24-USBK. Essentially what it is, it's a, do, it's a KVM, so a switch, that supports two computers and it supports two monitors. What's interesting about this one is it is Thunderbolt capable, Thunderbolt 4 capable, and it's still going to do 4K60. So that's very useful because you're going to probably have a setup, I think they have a picture down here somewhere, yeah. So you're going to have something like this where you have, you know, your PC or you have your Mac Mini. I'm going to be using Mac Mini or you have a Mac Tower, whatever it is, you have your PC one, and then that's going to go over the HDMI, and then you essentially have a mobile solution, so a MacBook or a Windows PC, whatever, and that's going to benefit from, you're going to hook that up over the Thunderbolt here, so you have that Thunderbolt selection there, that's going to go into the laptop. If you're looking at something like a MacBook Air, MacBook Airs don't have HDMI, so you wouldn't normally be able to hook it up to this, so you're going to be able to hook it up though, because it does have that Thunderbolt very cool. Plug that into your MacBook, boom, you're cooking, and then you just press that KVM switch and suddenly you're switched over to your Mac Mini, your desktop PC, whatever it is that you use. And they do promote, of course, edit, edit or EDID emulation. Essentially what that's going to do is it's going to help prevent your desktop from screwing up. Um, I've been using one of these for quite some time now, uh, a different model, but I'm using one of their uh, one of their KVMs for quite some time here. And I really do like the fact that it doesn't, when I plug stuff in, unplug it, press the KVM switch, it doesn't screw up my desktop every single time. So that's quite nice. This is not the only product they have. They have all kinds of stuff here. You go here, different monitor numbers, different PC numbers. So come in and pick the one that you're looking for. Uh, but if you're you know an Apple user, this one's going to be quite compelling for you. Here we go. This is, I guess it's T-Smart, T-E-Smart or Tez Smart, Tez Smart. I'm not sure. Never heard it said out loud. This is here, uh, this is a KVM. I've already reviewed one of their KVMs. This one is a more advanced model. This one here has USB-C type functionality, which is really good for people who use, well, depending on your laptop, you might only have USB-C as an output. Uh, you might also have a MacBook Air, for example, that only has USB-C output. On the front here, we have microphone headphone combo jack, good for just plugging stuff in. 10 gigabit per second USB-A, love to see it. 10 gigabit per second USB-C, love to see it. So those will be good for it's in the other room, but I have dongles that I plug in that will have data. We'll test it, but I put that in there. I actually put it in my phone because I record on my phone, and then I just go bloop. That way I don't have to try to get it into whichever PC I'm working on or Mac, whatever. Some indicator lights, that's going to switch between devices. It's an all-metal design. Very nice over here. Even this is metal. Fan will kind of blow. There it is. Fan will kind of pull through, keep the internals cool. Based on the previous one I had, it was nice and quiet. Oh, those are spare feet. Okay, well, let's save those for, for later. Um, yeah, DC power in to slow USB-A. So that's going to take, which you can do right now, that's going to take one of these. Uh, this one handles mouse and keyboard, but you can do other stuff. To medium speed, five gigabit per second. That's also reasonably fast. That's good for stuff like, you know, these little enclosures. A lot of these run at five gigabit per second, which will be 500 megabytes a second transfer. Ethernet, if you need it, very good. You get two outputs. So one is going to go to one monitor, one is going to go to the other monitor. I have two monitors that I'm going to test. Still a useful product even if you have a single monitor because you have two PCs. So in my case, it's going to be my Mac Mini and the desktop, switch between them. And even if you were only a single monitor output person, like you just had this ultra wide, that was it. You could just use that. And that would still be a wonderful product. But it also does support two. Very nice. I don't know what service means. It's fine. Uh, P USB, uh, sorry, PC one. I'm going to have monitor one, monitor two. So probably the big one and a little one. USB-B is going to be this one here, and that's going to be for data, data, data. So this is going to be for your video. That's going to be for data, data being all these, these peripherals here, all these peripherals. Okay, so you don't have to use them, but I mean, it's a major feature of these, having these awesome and easily accessible things. And I'll show you another cool reason about it. Now, of course, the Mac or my laptop, whichever I feel like using, I'll probably use the Mac in this video, um, you get to, Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, same thing. Okay, the wiring part is done. It looks messy, but once it's tucked away, it's gonna be nice and clean. That's going to the Mac. This is going to my PC, desktop PC. That's going to the monitor. This is gonna to go to the other monitor. I forgot to actually plug that in. 
second monitor like that and then you can use these if you want i'm not going to use them i'll test them i'm not going to use them that however is going to be wired up so let's get this tucked away once it's tucked away it actually is going to be pretty clean look at that look at that look at that that's a that's a thing of beauty right there so clean so i have the desktop over here whichever desktop i'm using uh, at the time or a mini pc whichever i'm messing with or my laptop often it's my laptop over here doing its thing gaming then i have my this is my test monitor it is a uh, 4k i need to have a 4k monitor for testing uh, because i often test things that need 4k um, and just game testing that kind of stuff so that's a 4k portable i use it as needed i actually do have an arm which i'm going to attach it to bring it out but do it later um, and i have a bigger one as well but i like that small one it's a little oled oled and oled looks sick then i have the massive 1440p ultra wide oled over here Mac mini over here, that could also be re represented by, let's say you have a Mac mini and a Mac book, right? You, I'm doing gaming desktop, but you could have a Mac book, which you'd plug in over USB-C and then a Mac mini, which actually does have HDMI. Another alternative setup, let's pretend this is a Mac. It's not a Mac, it's a Windows PC, but it has the same idea over USB-C. The other alternative would be you put your Mac or your Windows PC, whichever it is that you use, over USB-C. This has USB-C display here, plug that in, and then the Mac Mini, which is right there, goes in the HDMI. And then the Mac Mini there can do either USB-C or HDMI. Lots of different ways you could do it. For the gaming side of it, let's say I have my gaming PC here. I often don't actually use internal storage. I use external storage, right? I can plug that in there. My Steam library is on here. Plug that in there, and I'm gaming, right? It's going to automatically connect to the system, and I'm gaming. Uh, I actually, and because this is a test unit, I actually do have some games installed. So let's just show you one cool way that you could streamline your workflow with the setup. So let's say you are hanging out. You're at your office, like mine, which is a multi-purpose office. Um, you know, I have multiple things that I do here. I do my own work, I do YouTube, and I do gaming, I do video editing, all these type of things are done at this desk. So let's say I'm doing this right now. That's a game. Right, playing some cyberpunk, cyberpunk. I have my second monitor over here, which can have, you know, I can have maybe stats or something on it. Right, I can have my theme library, or I can have my stream over here. Let's say I'm a streamer, right? I don't have OBS on this desktop, but whatever. Let's pretend this is an OBS menu. So we have OBS over here, right? You're streaming, you're going through your stats, whatever, you have a, a guide if you're doing that, whatever. And uh, you know, this monitor over here is playing games, playing the actual game, right? Pew, 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 can't be violent. Not in dog town. Okay, very cool. And now, right, um, I'm like, all right, okay, I'm done with this. I don't want to game anymore. Or my boss walks in, whatever, right? Then all of a sudden, you just press this. That was two, one. And then now, I'm on Mac. Uh, and if you have a second monitor over here, like you may not be like me who does like portable monitors and has a portable monitor, you may have a monitor and a second monitor setup or something like that, whatever you do. This is just my setup because I want to set portable for testing various things, right? I'm over here doing some work, doing some work, doing some work. Imagine also doing like game capture, right? I'm doing, I'm editing a video. I am editing a video and I'm testing the Legion, which I'm reviewing right now. And I'm like, damn, I missed my game capture footage for this part of the video. Um, well, it's not really a big deal. Right? Because now we're, we're able to come over here and we're able to capture game footage. Right? And remember, have you not noticed that this mouse, this single coherent mouse, has been working between all the devices? Have you noticed that? I have this plugged into the back. And all I do is press that button. The mouse dongle here is going to connect to this PC if the KVM's on that or uh, the Mac or the Mac over there, if that's connected, right? It's very effective for doing that type of work, right? Very effective for doing that type of work. If that's your workflow, then that's your workflow. Fan freaking tastic. Now, the other option, let's say you're not a big gamer. Here's another setup. Okay, and here's the other optional setup, I'm just messing about, but you know, here's for example, my laptop. It's just going USB-C, you can see right there. Uh, I don't have an additional out for that, and this could be a Mac, for example, or it could be a Windows PC, whatever, and that's the USB-C side of this here. And then the Mac mini is taking the HDMI side. And so over here, I am actually able to charge my device. You can see that it's charging. 
battery. It's being charged. Smart charge is on. So it's actually charging my laptop. And all the while, it's also outputting display. And if you have a Windows PC that supports power and display over USB-C, you'll have the same uh, capabilities as me. If you have a uh, Mac, MacBook, Mac mini, if you have a MacBook or anything like that, it's gonna be the same. Maybe you'll get display on that, so there'll be no problems. And then I'm over here, I'm doing work right now. I'm working on backing up files to a, to a, a document or to a NAS type thing, right? Or maybe I'm working on something like that. Take this for the day, you know, you take your, take your laptop for the day, take it to class, come home, plug it in, start doing some work, or start doing some work, but then, you know, you have a Mac mini that's more powerful, or you have a desktop over there that's more powerful, whatever. You come here, you press that, or you use this, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you're cooking. You're cooking over here and you're doing work on your Mac instead or your desktop or whatever it is. So it's a very clean, very, very, very clean solution here. The fact that you're able to do this really pushes things a lot more forward than you might think. Uh, I mean, it's not just that it's a clean setup, that's part of it. It's also a streamlined and more effective and efficient setup. You don't mess around spending all your time trying to mess around with screens and all that kind of stuff. You just press a button and you're ready to rumble. Can I? Um, yeah, I don't like often. I'm like, yeah, it's good and your own decide. You decide if you want it on it. This one is actually so fire. It's so fire. I highly recommend it. Um, I mean, this one, this model here specific, there's other models as well, but this one, if you're a Mac user um, or someone who uses a desktop and a laptop, for example, having that USB-C base option is really fantastic. It really does actually just make your life so much easier or make my life so much easier. Um, yeah, consider it. Honestly, I would recommend it. I would recommend it strongly. Consider it. Uh, I think you're going to be pretty happy with it um, because you, I sure as hell am.